Hi, my name's Jade Cooper. I'm a fishing game officer here in the Central South Island region. Today we're here at the Twizel River in the Mackenzie country just having a look at the sockeye salmon spawning run. The sockeye salmon population here in the Mackenzie country are the only population in the southern hemisphere. They were introduced in 1901 to start a canning industry of sea run salmon, but unfortunately they never ran to sea. So they spawn mostly in our lake tributaries here. So up until the last 30 years, sockeye salmon were only present in the Lake Ohau catchment and used to spawn at the top in Larch Stream at the headwaters of Lake Ohau. Um, used to be around 20,000 a year spawn in the Lake Ohau tributaries, but the majority of those were salmon that were living their life out in Benmore and then headed up the Upper Ohau River to spawn in Larch Stream and Stockyard Stream. However, when the Rua Tanifa Spillway was constructed in 1982, the sockeye weren't able to continue their run from Lake Benmore up to the Ohau Tribs. And the year following that, Fish and Game salvaged around 8,000 from just below the spillway and redistributed them around the Waitaki catchment. So after the sockeye disappeared in the late 80s, um, Fish and Game went out of their way to look for them but weren't able to find any. And it wasn't until 2005 that we started to get reports of large numbers of fish moving up tributaries of the Waitaki Lakes. And in 2006, um, we confirmed that the sockeye were back. So it's a mystery to where the sockeye were in that period, but we assume there were small populations remaining in the lakes. When the sockeye returned, one place we never found them was Lake Pukeki, and it's not till the last couple of years that we've started to notice a large number spawning in Lake Pukeki tributaries. Um, in the 80s, an angler caught one and brought it to a fishing game officer to identify, and it was a sockeye, but that's the only other record of sockeye in Lake Pukeke. So anglers catching sockeye is a bit of a rare occurrence and this is because they're filter feeders and feed on plankton in the lakes. And this means they don't eat food that trout eat, so they interact with trout pretty well. So the sockeye swim up from the lakes and look for gravel bars just like this one to lay their eggs in. Like all Pacific salmon, the sockeye salmon die after spawning, but their fry do filter down into the lakes and they provide a valuable food source for the resident trout and Chinook salmon that are present in the Waitaki Lakes. So the return of the sockeye salmon is a heartening sign for the Waitaki Lake fisheries and these fry should help contribute to the awesome condition factor that are available in our lakes. So within this wee stretch of the Twizel River we've seen three to four hundred fish so it's a really good sign that the sockeye are in good shape. Apart from a short period in February you're only allowed to fish for sockeye salmon in the lakes.